All right, what is up everybody? My name is The Last Huddler and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the lamp stack. I'm using Ubuntu 16.04, but any version of Ubuntu would work and probably most versions of Linux would work for this guide, more or less. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal and you can do that by clicking Control, Alt and T all at the same time. And I'm just going to zoom in on this so that you can see it a little bit better as well. So we're going to be using a guide made by DigitalOcean, and we're just going to be th going through that step by step to to create our LAMP stack. So the first thing we need to do is we need to update the apt package manager, which we're going to be using to download all of our dependencies for the LAMP stack. So you type sudo apt get update. That's going to update our apt package manager. So we're installing the LAMP stack, right? Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. That's our L done. Now we're going to move on to Apache. So the next thing to do is to type sudo apt get install apache2. And once that's installed, our um, Linux machine is going to be acting like a web server. So we can actually have a look um, in a browser to see what it's doing. So open up Firefox and we can type in 127.0.0.1 and that will access the local host. And as you can see, when we do that, we get the Apache 2 Ubuntu default page. So now we know for sure that Apache 2 has installed successfully. And so now that is the A in our LAMP stack completed. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install something called MySQL, which is going to be our database software. So the first thing we need to do for that is we need to type sudo apt get install MySQL server. And click Y and continue. So now we have to select a password for the root user, and you should use a secure password for this. I'm not going to, I'm just going to type one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but if this is going to be a production lamp stack that's going to be live on the internet for people to access, you should definitely use a stronger password than that. But mine isn't, so mine's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So now the next thing that we're going to do, that's our L, A, and M complete. We have to install PHP, and that's going to be a way for us to write code and make our web server custom and do all the kinds of behaviors that we want it to do. We're going to be using PHP for that. So that's the P in the LAMP stack, and this is the final thing we need to do. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install PHP by typing sudo apt get install PHP lib apache to mod PHP, which is something that allows PHP to talk to Apache php encrypt and php mysql and click yes so now that we've installed php onto our web server let's actually try writing some php code seeing if it runs and if it does then we know for sure that php has installed correctly so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new file and we're going to call that file info.php. So we're going to type sudo nano, which is going to open a basic text editor. And then we're going to go slash var slash www slash html, which is our web root. So whenever anybody accesses our web server, they're going to be getting served files from this location on our server. That's called the web root. So we're going to make a file in there and we're going to call it info.php. So we're opening this in the text editor and we're going to write a very simple PHP program called PHP info, and we need to type PHP there. And what PHP info does is gives us some humanly readable information about our PHP web server. So once you've typed that out just like that, hit Control O and enter to save it, and then Control X to exit um, the text editor. So now that we've done that, we can go back to our browser again, and at the end of 127.0.0.1, we can type slash info.php and you can see that that code worked and now we have a whole bunch of information about our PHP web server, all kinds of configuration information and things like that. So that has been how to install the LAMP stack and I'll be going through a lot more things on what we can do with this web server. So make sure that you subscribe um, and the next video we're going to be talking about a secure login system. So make sure you watch that and thank you very much.